As the world has come to a standstill due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, football season 2 has been suspended indefinitely. In this virtual off-season, the transfer rumours have started gaining traction as teams find time to identify players they will look to buy when the transfer windows open. One such transfer that has especially gained a significant amount of buzz is Jadon Sancho returning to his homeland England to the Theatre of Dreams. In this video, we will be analysing the possible transfer of Jadon Sancho to the Red Harp of Manchester in detail. But before that, if you're a football fan and love our football related content, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any of our videos. Jadon Sancho joined Manchester City at the age of 14 and quickly moved up the ranks at the Etihad. However, after issues of his playing time, he forced a move to Borussia Dortmund in 2017 for a fee of around £8 million. In his three seasons in Germany since his arrival, he has gone from strength to strength and is now considered one of the best young footballers on the planet. In his three seasons in Dortmund, he has scored 31 goals and also bagged 42 assists. Last season, he finished the Bundesliga with 14 assists and was the second highest assist provider in Europe's top five leagues. More impressively, this season, he has taken his game to another level with 17 goals and 18 assists in 35 games for the club so far. But it hasn't been all plain sailing for Sancho in Germany, and he has had some issues with Dortmund this season. After returning late from free Lions duty in October, Sancho was dropped and fined and also publicly criticised by sporting director Michael Zork, which led to the speculation of him leaving the German side in the upcoming transfer window. Sancho's contract runs out in 2022 and is currently valued at around £110 million. There are loads of clubs around Europe such as Chelsea, Real Madrid and Barcelona that are desperate for his signature, but it looks like Manchester United are one of the favourites to sign the young sensation. Sancho is a natural winger who possesses flair, skills and blistering pace. He can play on both sides of the pitch, starting his career on the left with Man City reserves, but making a shift to the right at Dortmund. He has averaged 2.6 dribbles per game this season in the Bundesliga, and can run with the ball directly into the opposition box from wide, as well as break the defensive lines when he cuts inside with the ball from the left. He has the vision and creativity to find runs of teammates with incisive through balls in between players. The youngster likes to express himself more on the ball, and he takes on defenders in 1v1 situations and runs the ball into space. He is extremely skillful with the ball at his feet and is very good in tight spaces. Dortmund coach Lucien Favre has mostly used Sancho as one of the three wide midfielders, predominantly on the right in his structured 4-2-3-1 formation. One of the strengths of the German side this season has been creating goal scoring chances from wide areas and the majority of those have come from Sancho's brilliance. Sancho is a nightmare for the fullbacks and defenders and the standout thing about him is his end product. Sancho's decision making is also brilliant for a 20 year old. He usually knows when to hold on to the ball or when to pass or when to shoot. Despite being so young he already has mastered the final ball and finishing which is evident by his output of averaging one goal contribution and 2.6 chances created this season. His qualities such as his pace, agility and ability to dribble and counter attack make him a perfect fit for Manchester United. On top of that Sancho is a right winger which which is exactly what Manchester United are currently missing. Alexis Sanchez's decline has been steep and he is on loan at Inter. Juan Mata is nothing more than a role player and although Dan James has shown some glimpses of potential, he is far from the finished article. United's right wing position is up for grabs which Jadon Sancho can easily slot into. If United were to sign Sancho, Sancho would be utilised in the right side of their 4-2-3-1, similar to what his role is in Dortmund. The explosive front three would possibly be Rashford, Martial and Sancho which would be one of the most exciting young attacking trios in Europe. The three of them would cause trouble for any opposition defence with their directness and pace. Furthermore, each of them has the ability to play out wide or through the middle which gives freedom to use them interchangeably depending on the opposition. In behind them in the number 10 position would be the new signing and February's Premier League Player of the Month Bruno Fernandes who has been slotted perfectly in United's system and taken the Premier League by storm. Sancho's presence on the wing would only benefit a player like Fernandes. Sancho will be able to spread the pitch with his width and strength opposition defences leaving more spaces for players like Fernandez to utilise and create chances or have shots on goal. The midfield double pivot of the increasingly impressive Fred and Paul Pogba can also stand to benefit from Sancho's presence in the team. Pogba likes to make marauding runs from midfield into the box and a player like Sancho has done really well at Dortmund in finding players making these late runs into the box. Sancho will also boost the overall mood and atmosphere around Old Trafford if he signs, bringing back a sense of optimism and belief that United can possibly challenge the noisy neighbours and their old rivals down the M62 and break the duopoly that has ruled over England for the past three seasons. Manchester United have famed history with the number 7 shirt with wingers like Best, Beckham and Ronaldo ruling over England with the renowned red shirt and number on their back. And it is possible that Jadon Sancho will be the next in line to don this mantle 
and follow the footsteps of the greats that preceded him and become the next big superstar to grace the hollow turf in Manchester with the number 7 on his back. Will Jadon Sancho be able to success at Manchester United or will he be another Dortmund winger like Ousmane Dembele who will fail to live up to his price tag? Vote in the poll above. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video. Also, click right here to subscribe to our channel and click here to watch some of our latest videos.